Hello, I'm Sprinking, and today I'm bringing you my Supreme King deck profile. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Supreme King deck, and of course it's by my channel name, Supreme King, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite decks from the Arc 5 series. Of course, I, I love the Supreme King cards, the Dimension Dragon cards, the Odd Eyes, Magician cards, and the Perform Bell cards. I just love all those cards, because those are like the main decks I used in this series. Um, so yeah, let's get the deck profile. Uh, so, main deck is 60 cards. Extra deck is 15 cards, and side deck is 15 cards. Uh, let's get into the deck profile. Yeah, this deck is a lot of fun. It's got a lot of variety, and it's very, very OP because, you know, we're destroying the world here. We're Zark, you know. <laughs> we will become one, and we will destroy the world. So, because, you know, Zark's... The Zark is probably like my favorite card from Arc 5 just because it's a combination of my two favorite Sony methods, Fusion and Pendulum. But anyway, um, in the deck, got three Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Of course, you need to have that because, you know, you do need your Pendulum Dragons to bring out Zark. Of course, of all the four Dimension Dragons, uh, Odd Eyes is the only one I can actually have three of because this is in the main deck, whereas the uh, extra deck I can only fit in two of each. So that's why that's like that. But anyway, got three Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragons. I got three Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. Three Supreme King Dragon Dark Worms. Of course, the reason why I like this deck is because, well, it's got Supreme King in the name, which, of course, that's my name, so, yeah. Uh, three Supreme King Gate Zero. And three Supreme King Gate Infinity, so that's basically the best kind of pendulum skill you can get, which is 0 to 13, so you can just pendulum summon anything from levels 1 through 12. Got three Astrograph Sorcerer, of course, to help bring up Zark. Got three Chronograph Sorcerer, of course, the same thing to help bring up Zark. And then I got three Double Iris Magician, which, because of course, this is treated as a Pendulum Dragon card, so this also helps with bringing up Zark. Three Purple Poison Magician, because that's treated as a Fusion Dragon card, which also helps bring out Zark. Got three White Wing Magician, because this is treated as a Synchro Dragon, that also helps bring out Zark. And then three Black Fang Magician. Because that's treated as an Xe Dragon, the course help bring out Zark. That's it for the monsters. On the spells, got one star pendulum graph. Of course, these pendulum graph cards do really well in decks that like this. So I got one of those in there. Got one Skyrus, which can help out, help search out any of the odd eyes cards in there. And of course, protect any of the uh, your pendulum skills if it's odd eyes or magician cards in there. So that's why I got the Skyrus in there. Got two pendulum calls because, of course, there's quite a bunch of addition in cars in here, so that's why I have a couple in there. Same with two amazing pendulums. Because you do have some addition cars in here you'd like to get back. And I got three polymerization because, you know, there is fusion summoning in here. And I got two Dragon's Mirror in here because in case polarization doesn't do the job, Dragon's Mirror will. And because there's quite a bit of banish in the deck, there's I got two Burial from a different dimensions. And two Gold Sarcophagus to really search out whatever card I'm looking for. And one Pot of Acquisitiveness. 
to course get back banish cards. On the traps, got one time pendulum graph. Uh, of course, this is a good card for, I guess it's the same as star pendulum graphs, so that's why I got the one in here. Got one dragon's rage because, well, most of this deck is dragons, so yeah, flick piercing damage if they're in defense mode. And then the probably the most OP trap of the whole de deck, Supreme Rage. So yeah, it's basically out four Supreme King Dragons, you know, just like that. <laughs> you know, I love this trap card. I kind of wish they made all the other Supreme King spell and trap cards that we didn't get, but, you know, maybe someday they will. But yeah, OP trap card. Uh, three Call the Haunted. Self-explanatory to help bring monster back from the graveyard. I'd say a jar of avarice, just basically re recycle your cards. That's it for the main deck. On to the extra deck. Extra deck, I got two Starring Venom Fusion Dragons because this is the Fusion Dragon. So, got two of those. Got the two Supreme King Dragon Starving Venoms. The Supreme King version of it. And the main card of the deck, the key card, the ace, that brings the whole deck together. Two Supreme King Zarks. Of course, I'd like to have like, you know, three of each of these extra deck cards, but you know, I can only fit two of each because there's just so many cards. So I've got two in here. That's Probably by far my favorite card from the whole Arc 5 series just because it's Fusion and Pendulum, my two favorite cards in the one. Too bad it wasn't like the hand with the Synchro and Xe in it. Uh, two Clear Wing Synchro Dragons. Uh, that's your Synchro Dragon part of the deck. That's why I got two of those. And of course, it's Supreme King version, Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. Two Darker Belly and Xyz Dragons, because that's the, the Xyz Dragon part of the deck. And of course, got the two Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellions. And then the last card of the deck is one Time Star Magician, because, you know, this helps search out magicians, and there's a lot of level 4 magician panel monsters, so that's why I have this card here. So that's it for the extra deck. Onto the side deck. Got the second Time Storm Edition in here, because this card does help out the deck. Like, uh, got the other two Star Pendulum Graphs in here, because these Pendulum Graph cards are really help out a lot. Got the other two Sky Iris in here. Got the one, the third Pendulum Call in here. The third Amazing Pendulum. Third Dragon's Mirror. Third Gold Sarcophagus in here. The other two Pot of Acquisitiveness in here. Of course, get back the Banished cards. Got the other two Time Pendulum Graphs in here. And then last card's got the last two Dragon Rage in here. So yeah, that's it for the uh, the side deck. That's it for this deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, like I said, this deck's a lot of fun. This deck is very OP. You can do all the summoning methods except for, of course, Ritual. And this is, of course, ignoring the whole new summoning mechanic because uh, this was out in Arc Fiber. But this does basically all the summoning methods except for Ritual summoning. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this deck profile. Uh, like I said, this deck's a lot of fun. It's got a lot of variety and Definitely very, very OP deck. If you watch Dark in this show, yeah, this deck is OP. So, anyway, that's it for this deck profile. Let's all become one and destroy the world. This is Supreme King signing off. Get your game on.